So Carl, do you know any bar tricks? Well, I know that one. Whee! <laughs> People are going to think that's my trick, isn't it? That's real. I'm actually doing that for real. Also, yeah, I get it. Carl, sounds like Kyle drinking Red Monster. No, White Monster. Get over it. We feel it's safe to say that over the years, Tom Cruise has forged a reputation as a crazy masochistic asshole with the things that he makes himself do in his movies. A noted perfectionist, Tom Cruise's dedication to performing his roles exactly the way they're written in the script is such that he will actively train his body to go against its own instincts just to learn random skills. So I've noticed on this channel you've talked about Tom Cruise quite often. Yeah, because the guy's crazy and there's just so much interesting stuff about his life. And in specific regards to today's topic, um, People may not be familiar with like the hellacious assault Tom Cruise, like, you know, subjects his body to every time he makes a movie because you think, well, the guy's like one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Like, would he really need to risk life and limb? And the answer is, yes, he fucking does, because Tom Cruise is just that insane. And we've discussed before, right, the Mission Impossible movies yeah. and the stuff that he does in them just because either he wants to or he thinks it looks cool. And the best example of this is the free climbing segment at the start of Mission Impossible 2, which wasn't in the original script and was something suggested by Tom Cruise just because he thought it was rad and wanted to try it. Isn't there also a moment where he climbs the tallest building in the world? Yeah, Burj Khalifa where he climbs on it without any like harnesses or anything, he has like rubber gloves on and just climbs along the side of it. And the best part about that is, that's not even the craziest thing he did, because while they were setting up for that scene, Tom Cruise asked the helicopter pilot they had, do you mind just taking me up to the top? And they're like, yeah, I, I guess. So they flew Tom Cruise all the way up to the top of Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, and just sat him right on the very top, without any safety harnesses, and took a photo of him. <laughs> and that, to me, is like, that's the Tinder profile picture of it. Like that, if you add that, you win. <laughs> That's the one, it's so good. And that's not even in the movie. He just did that in between shots because he wanted to go to the top and see what it was like. That's pretty cool. And just climbed out of a helicopter and sat on top of the tallest building in the world and went, cool. While a helicopter is like 10 feet away blowing air onto him. Like every Mission Impossible movie does, I think there's one way he strapped himself to the outside of a plane. And that in of itself is ridiculous, but I, he also suffers horrendous fucking injuries on these films. Like the latest Mission Impossible movie, Tom Cruise snapped his ankle completely in half. And there'll presumably be a clip of this and Tom Cruise discussing it. And so, warning for the squeamish. Now watch that, watch this. <laughs> and I can see you cringing, Nisha. So do you want me to make it worse? Uh, I, no. <laughs> this stunt required him to jump across a gap and the script called for him to not make the jump and like, you know, land like the traditional action hero way of like edge of the building, climb up. Yeah. The problem was Tom Cruise snapped his ankle when he did that because he put his foot against the wall, full weight hit it, ankle breaks it. But Tom, and Tom Cruise, I knew, I knew I broke my ankle, but we needed to get the shot. So do you know what he did? So he just carried on. He climbed up and he ran on a broken ankle and then went off set and got it patched up and just told the guy, yeah, my ankle's broke. Up he gets, up he gets, and he's running. <laughs> and do you know what makes that even funnier? Like, this is just like a little side fact. Um, that happened just after Paramount Pictures told Henry Cavill not to shave his moustache <laughs> for Superman. <laughs> After they said we're not delaying production while we sh to shave his moustache, Tom Cruise broke his ankle. <laughs> well, think about that for a moment. Like, this isn't Tom Cruise at the start of his career. This is Tom Cruise when he's like a 50 odd so, year yeah, old he's man. Middle aged now. The mo middle aged. He's old. Ooh, he's like the most. But also the most famous man on the planet. Broke his ankle doing a stunt he realistically should not have had to do if he didn't want to because he could have got a stunt man in. Yeah. And then ran on the broken ankle because he didn't want to mess up the shot. And this is like, you know, there are countless stories like this. Say what you want about Tom Cruise, the guy puts the fucking effort in. Tom Cruise reminds me of Nick Cage in a way, where he always puts the maximum amount of effort into the role, even if he doesn't really need to. Yeah. Well, that just shows how passionate they are about... The roles, know, yeah. The roles and just getting into filming, it's, it's great, really. Yeah, and we've discussed before how like Tom Cruise can be a little bit too passionate, and he like, you know, it will turn movies into, like, you know, Tom Cruise movies like instead the, of like... the mummy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and that is a valid criticism, but I can't help but like him just for like the dedication shows i think 
One more thing we could talk about that I think just showcases how fucking ridiculous he is, is, again, in one of the Mission Impossible movies, there's a big underwater scene that lasts for about five to six minutes, and for that scene, Tom Cruise learned to hold his breath for six minutes. So he, he learned to hold his breath as long as you know, those like solo free divers are going yeah. in the water. Yeah. Like, he learned to do that just because he wanted to make the shot good. Like, they could have edited around it. They could have got a stunt man in. They could have like, you know, just not done it in a single take. But no, he's like, no, do it in one take because that's what people expect when they come see a Mission Impossible movie. They expect to see us top the shit we did in the last one. Yeah. So I guess I've got to drown. I guess I've got to learn how to like, you know, just fight Poseidon. That's dedication. It is, it's so stupid. <laughs> So I think one of the main questions here is, why is he doing this? Yeah, because I'm guessing that's a question a lot of people are just, but yeah, I get it, it's cool, but, but why? Yeah. Why is he learning to hold his breath for six minutes? Why is he strapping himself to the outside of a plane? Why is he insisting on dozens of takes for things where he's like, you know, actively putting himself at risk? And the answer is because it helps Tom Cruise concentrate because in his own words, he was almost functionally illiterate as a child due to dyslexia. And one of the few things he found that would help him overcome this was to just completely and utterly focus himself on a single task, something which has evidently carried over to his acting. And there is a term for this that has been coined by people who know Tom Cruise and others in the industry, and it is cruise control. And people who would know more about this than us have said that it is like watching like, you know, a switch go off in his mind. Because he'll just be stood there, to be like, you know, Tom Cruise, like, you know, happy-go-lucky guy, saying hi to him, shaking everybody's hand, just being like, you know, a generally nice and jovial person, and then bang! It's action time. It's time to become Ethan fucking Hunt. He'll just sprint at like 30 miles an hour and just like get hit by a missile and get launched into the side of a car. And he'll stand up and he'll go over to the guys and go, good take guys, good take, and become Tom Cruise again. Okay, so it seems to me that he's got quite an obsessive sort of personality. Oh yeah, Tom Cruise does. And uh, like this, in addition to like, you know, affecting the way he acts and like, you know, his preparation for roles, like affects his like, you know, his day-to-day -day dealings because Anyone who's ever met Tom Cruise or has heard stories about people who have, they all say like, he's the nicest man in Hollywood. Like he has this reputation as the nicest man in Hollywood because he will like go above and beyond for his fans and for people who meet him. Yeah. To the point where there are stories that sound like they're made up from his co-stars. For example, Kirsten Dunst appeared in a movie with Tom Cruise like years and years and years ago. I think an interview with a vampire or something like that. Yeah. She says that 30 years later my entire extended family, when we meet up for Christmas, we still get a cake from Tom Cruise. And a lot of news agencies pounced on this when she announced it in an interview. Yeah. So like, it's weird. And then a load of other actors came out, no, it's not. Like, I've worked with Tom Cruise, I also get the Tom Cruise cake. <laughs> like, we just, it's just the thing. Is it a cake with his face on it? So, I, no, it's not. It's apparently it's from like, a really, really upscale bakery. But if you've ever met Tom Cruise in any sort of professional capacity, chances are you will get a cake from him. Something he will do is he will take a day off from production to meet every single person making one of his movies, shake their hand, post the photographs, and just say hello, just so they get a chance to meet him. And I think uh, George Clooney and Brad Pitt are two people who also do that. And I think with Brad Pitt, he has to do it because he has that um, mental condition where you can't see faces. Really? I think. You know, he's, he's repeatedly revealed in interviews that I don't remember faces that well. Oh, okay. And he says, I feel really bad because like, you know, people couldn't shake my hand. They yeah. go, oh, hi, All right, who are you? So I've been working with you for the past three weeks and he'll feel so bad about it. So he goes out of his way yeah. to like, you know, introduce himself to everybody and make a mental note of who they are and what they do so he can remember the name, not the face. Okay, so bringing it back to Tom Cruise. Yes. We spoke about the stunts that he did yeah. himself. Um, but you mentioned something about him learning skills for roles as well. Yeah, because like, his laser focus, his cruise control doesn't just like mean that he focuses on stunts and being like, you know, apparently a super nice guy to the production crew. It also like, extends to the skills that he has to learn for his movies. And for example, the film Cocktail, um, which involves Tom Cruise being a cocktail barman, yeah. which involves like, you know, flaring, which was a new skill at the time. Tom Cruise learnt from a master of cocktail flaring, or flare bartending if you prefer, and got so good that the guy went, yeah, he's uh, basically as good as I am right now. <laughs> So yeah, this is Fact Fiend, so I'm assuming it gets a little bit more stupid. Of course, there's always that stupid twist. And the stupid twist here is that all the things I've just mentioned involve Tom Cruise performing, like, you know, flair bartending with his right hand, because his characters were right-handed. In real life, Tom Cruise is not right-handed, he's left-handed. So he learned how to do all these things 
all these incredibly difficult, hyper-specific skills with his bad hand. Now, just for a moment, Nisha, I'm just going to... Have we got anything we can just throw? You've got a bottle of water there. Like, I'm just going to try and catch a bottle of water in my left hand. Let's give that a go. It's actually tied on here. Yeah. Well, no, go on, throw it. I'll catch my right. Piece of piss. Like, you know, it's muscle memory. It's perfect. Now, let's try it on my left hand. <laughs> Tom Cruise learned how to cocktail flare with his bad fucking hand, and I can't catch a bottle of water I know is coming. <laughs> how stupid is that? It's ridiculous. Think about that. Like, Cocktail flare is so difficult. I can barely do it. And I was on a bar for years. I can do a few streets. He was like filming a movie for about three months and became an expert on the subject. So I can't even catch stuff with my good hand. So, so it's yeah. just, he actively taught himself to act against his own, his own body's instincts because the characters he was playing were right handed. So I think so now he's, he's technically classed as being ambidextrous, but he wasn't born ambidextrous. He just taught himself to be. And there's like photos out there of him signing stuff with his left hand and then signing it with his right hand because obviously so many people ask him to sign his autograph. He signs two in one go. Uh, he probably could. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he could. not He's two or two was, autographs right, at once. It's so stupid. God damn it, Tom Cruise. Stop being such like a don when it comes to all this shit. So the topic of today's video has been, in a roundabout way, um, skills that Tom Cruise taught himself to do. So in that vein, have you got any skills or things that you taught yourself to do? Like, you know, just because... Yeah, when I was younger, I don't know if I can still do it now, but I was like really flexible. Okay. So I used to like lie on my back and then bring my legs up over it, like and my knees next oh, to the, my the, head. The, the reverse crab. So I was like in a little ball. And well, could... Your boyfriend's here. Adam, is that still true? Maybe. He's just not. He just do. He did. He did what he did then. He did the winter soldier. Just the back <laughs> of the car. No, so I want to believe it. Well, I can. I'm doing that. I can touch my toes. Which apparently is a skill not a lot of people have. I can do that as well. Yeah, yeah. I can touch my toes and I'm quite tall. So people don't expect tall people to touch their toes. I can do that. It's not really going to play well for the video because I'm just going like, to go below frame. But I, <laughs> trust me, I can do it. Uh, I think another I can throw cards. I lot so taught myself how to do that. Oh, yeah. So I watched, like, I think I was watching a magic show and the magician was throwing cards to people in the audience. I'm like, that's really cool. So just one day I just bought a deck of cards from like, a shop and just spent all day throwing cards. I can throw playing cards quite well. Oh, I can do that trick. I sometimes do it if we're out drinking. Okay. Where I'll, I'll just stand and like move my feet in a motion where I'm like, oh, I don't know that how weird, to, that weird dance I one. don't know how to explain it. It's two that. step in. Like, Nisha yeah. just two step in, <laughs> in the corner. Just do um, this weird like dance moves. Uh, with the bar thing, obviously, I can stick the can to my hand. If people are wondering how you do that, um, you have to get the little bottom of the can there and you get the air pocket against the heel of your hand and you twist it around to trap the air in and the can gets stuck. Yeah. So what I used to do, it works easy with a smaller can. I've got quite a big hand, so it works. But you can get a can of Red Bull and do it. And you give someone on the bar a can of Red Bull and they try to pick up and go, whoop, whoop. And they can't do that. Or I think I could do, like, bounce a wine bottle on my elbow. So just about bounce a wine bottle on my elbow like that. And then catch it and pour it. Or, like, with a broomstick. I can do that as well. Like, bounce a broomstick on your middle finger. You just think, I can do that. Have we got anything? I can show that. Yeah, I can balance just stuff on. Just flipping everyone off. I can balance stuff on the middle. I'm pretty good at balancing stuff. Here we go. It's a Guitar Hero stick. Uh. Well, it's obviously you know, it's just fine in the center of balance, but I can see that to be a skill. It's a completely pointless skill that you know. <laughs> I guess that is really weird. It's like why can why do you have the ability to balance just random objects on your middle finger? <laughs> but I could do it. Adam's gone. <laughs> Did you know I could do that? No, it's just the idea we just sat open. <laughs> because well, I used to I used to work in a bar and I was behind the scenes, so basically it was like hours at a time. I'm just stood in a back room washing glasses. <laughs> So let's pick up a broomstick and just go, I've got really good at it. <laughs> I'm so talented. Look at I'm just dropping all the knowledge today. <laughs>